the essence of socialism is that you surrender quite a bit of power over your own life to the state. Well, we all do that to some extent, but of course it went much further. Uh, you pay very high taxes and they wish to um, take even higher taxes because they think that politicians can spend money better than the people can spend it. The more you take away, the less there is for private industry. And that's where the creation of wealth comes. So you have to establish very clear limits on the role of government. And really, you know, politicians, I think, should sometimes just be a little bit more modest about their abilities than they are. We can't run everything, and we shouldn't try. Mrs. Thatcher, though, you're going for attitudes. You're trying to change the way people think about their role in life. It's almost sometimes as though you think, by your own resolve, you can somehow inspire people to be different. You're, you're still inside, if I well, could suggest, a little of that very bright greengrocer's daughter who made herself a chemist, made herself a tax lawyer, made herself prime minister. Anybody can. I don't really quite recognize what you're saying. I believe certain things very strongly. I believe that we were going towards a way of life in which people were constantly looking to the state to solve their problems and to do things for them. You know, when the state does everything for you, it'll soon take everything from you. You will then have no basis for personal freedom, political freedom, nor economic freedom. I saw it going much too far, and I think it would have gone even further had I not won that 1979 election. Too far ever to pull it back. 